Hi everyone, Mindy here, and I decided I wanted to do a little bit of an, um, not necessarily an unboxing, but a haul video. I had recently been contacted by Picket Fence Studios and uh, was able to pick out some goodies for them to send me. And so some of these are things I picked out and I wanted to show you this wow package because it is seriously wow. Um, I honestly had never worked with their products before, <clears throat> been watching them and uh, keeping an eye on some of the products and the projects that I've been seeing, which have been wonderful. It just, you know, your budget only goes so far. So <laughs> I was really excited when they had contacted me and then I received this amazing package. So I wanted to show you what I got. I'm going to start with some of the stamp sets. So I apologize if there's any glare. I'm going to try and minimize that glare. All right, so the first thing uh, here is the stamp set, and this one is uh, a dose of vitamin C. So this has a couple whales on it, some splashes, lots of great elements and little creatures uh, to do a scene with, and the sentiments, we even some little seagulls. Uh, I'll follow you anywhere. There's some little bubbles here. All you need is a dose of vitamin C never give up hope you matter to me more than all of the fish in the sea so this is a great great stamp set to just you can do your whole card with just this one stamp set i also did uh, pick up the coordinating dies because i just i love having coordinating dies with my stamp sets it just makes it a lot easier for me i'm not a huge fan of fussy cutting so that is why i have the dies and also I like dies because I like the edge that it leaves. Now I know it's not always feasible to pick up the dies because you know they're extra money, but I personally do love having the dies and I love the clean edge that it gives. So this is a dose of vitamin C. Another stamp set here that grabbed my attention is this huge, gorgeous, gorgeous floral image and there's so many different things you can do with this whether it's Copic coloring which is my first love uh, or watercoloring zig markers just there's so many different things and this would take up your entire card so you would I mean this this is great so this one is called lily bouquet and it also has a couple sentiments so our deepest sympathies belong to you this too shall pass by God's grace alone and lots of words here. I'm not going to read them all. <laughs> it's a lot of fine print. So that is super gorgeous. Don't think there's a die for that one. I don't think so. So that is the Lily Bouquet. Then I also have, this is so cute. This is adorable. Like a crafty fox. So this is just a sweet image and I I do have a lot of critters. I love coloring critters, uh, but I don't have any that look quite like this. This reminds me of the old storybooks. Um, I can't even remember the name of them, but uh, gosh, I don't even want to date myself. But these remind me of those old uh, fable stories, the little critters in there. Uh, we have the sentiments on here, like a crafty fox, found ya, love ya, and your pack for fuck's sake. I'm sorry. I love it. This is my sense of humor. It may not be for everybody, but honestly, the sentiment totally grabbed me. And I'm glad I caught you. And there is also coordinating dies for the foxes. So very easy to cut out, pop up, do some partial die cutting. So loving that. Also, I have this huge, gorgeous African succulent. I'm not even going to attempt because I, I don't know flowers and I don't speak flowers very well. But I loved the image. And this is huge. This is another one that would take up an entire background, which I thought was awesome because sometimes you just want to sit in color. You don't want to think about a scene or what other elements to add. This right here, stamp, done, color. Do what you like. Another one that you can pick any medium to color this with. And uh, no dye needed, obviously, because it's it's going to take up your entire card. So that is another gorgeous one. It has a lot of great bold lines in here. I think this is just wonderful. And 
if anyone knows me, loving stencils. So I had to pick up some stencils. This is a peacock tail stencil, and I thought this would be really good for just really getting artsy, just to have a background, doesn't have to make sense. I'm gonna try, Let's see if you can, well, maybe if I move that, it'll, there. You see that a little bit better? So it has just all this gorgeous detail. Another one that you can get really creative with, whether it's the Distress Oxides or, you know, ink blending, anything. I think these are just amazing. So that is Peacock Feathers. And then I have some more stencils here. So these are... Um, I know these look pretty simple, but I thought these would be super handy. I love convenience. I love, love, love convenience. I love when I can find something that's going to make life easier for me. So these, um, and they do have examples on their blog too, uh, on their website, I should say. So I know, looks pretty plain, looks pretty easy, but saves me from having to do this on my own. I don't want to have to worry about it. When I'm done using this, I can clean it and be done. But what this will do is, so it's just a circle that's cut out. If you want to make a one layer card, you can mask your image or whatever, but you just lay this down and you can either ink blend to have your circle colored, or you can put this on your card stack and ink blend around it. So these I think would be great for one layer cards. I mean, you can create little windows or moons or... No, I mean, just anything, really. I know they look really simple, but to me, this is a time saver because I love my ink blending. I just don't like to have to worry about cutting out of cardstock. And then, you know, with cardstock, if you're uh, ink blending a, a center circle like this, your cardstock can catch because it's not a real slick surface, smooth surface. With stencils, these are smooth. This is slick. And then I can just clean it and put it back and it's done and I'm ready for next time. Whereas cardstock, it's it's gonna get dirty and you don't wanna transfer that ink to your other projects. So loving this, can't wait to use it. I also have them in a couple other sizes cause you just never know. So this is another one. So it's just cutting a little bit smaller of a circle. And so you have those two there. And then an even smaller one, I'm not gonna take that one out, but it's an even smaller one, which I think would be great for moon or a sun, something like that. You can make a polka dot background and just shift your stencil around your paper. So I think these are great. To me, this is like a real good basic staple to have with stencils. So that is those. And I will have all of these supplies listed uh, in the video description below and also on my blog, if any of you are interested. Next up, I have foil impressions. So recently I purchased um, a Gemini Junior and I also purchased the Gemini foil machine because I think it's just gorgeous. And what these will do, actually it's probably make more sense if I show you this one. This is the peony. You know, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't um, grow flowers. My mom planted some for me, but I don't grow them. So I I love flowers. I just, I don't know. I don't have a green thumb. I have an inky thumb. I don't have a green thumb. But peonies are always the flower that draw my attention first. So what this will do, and I will do these in videos, but what this is going to do is you're going to put this onto your cardstock and instead of it die cutting, it's going to uh, embed it into your cardstock with the color foil that you use. So it's going to leave an impression. And I think they are just gorgeous. They remind me of all the stationery that you see in stores, you know, Michaels, things like that. This one also has an outline. So I'm really excited because I haven't dug into my Gemini foil system quite yet. I've done a couple things, but nothing real major. A little sticky. I'll get that off later. But I think these are going to be a lot of fun, and I think it's going to be gorgeous, like, pink cardstock with some gold or silver foil. Really quick cards to do and they're going to be just stunning. I just know it. And then an outline too, which like I said, I'll, I'll know more about it once I start playing, but I knew these were for 
using with a foil system. And then these, uh, this one is the foil impressions die combo. So these are sentiments that you can foil. This is I love you, love ya, and kiss kiss. That's cute. And then the outlines too. And this one I just thought would be really super simple, pretty. So you have uh, the dandelion. And yeah, that's the dandelion. That one is love set, my peony. So this one I just thought would be so simple. You know, you could whip up a ton of cards just by foiling this one image with a simple sentiment, whether it's thank yous or, uh, you know, if there's a loss, just something really simple. And I think this would be really pretty. So very excited to try that. And last, but not least, absolutely not least, are the life-changing brushes. All right, so uh, what I wanna say is, wow, Picket Fence Studios, uh, because when I was looking at them, I have wanted to try these for a while. And this is why I saved them for last, so I could talk about it for a second. I have wanted to try these for a while. Um, like everybody else, I, I was trying to just go the cheap route and I bought some makeup brushes, okay? Which were reasonable enough. I got them around Christmas time for, I don't know, cheap price. And yeah, okay, great. Always wanted to see if there was a difference uh, with the life-changing brushes. I seen these, I think I seen them from Lydia it was probably the first place I saw them and I've been watching them and I've been hearing about them. And so when Picket Fence contacted me, I was like, oh yes, I want to try the brushes. So I asked for a two pack because now if you don't want to spend all the money and you're not sure if you're gonna like them and you don't wanna get the whole pack, they have different size packs available. So you can get two, you can get four. I can't remember what all the packages are, but there are smaller packages if you want to give them a try. What is super amazing is Picket Fence sent me this big collection. So really excited to try these. And, you know, I obviously I've been through this already and I've looked at these. I haven't uh, done anything with them yet, so I don't know the difference. But what I did want to show you is, so here is one of the brushes, uh, one of the life-changing brushes. Now, let me show you. Okay, so this is one of the makeup brushes I got. Okay, yeah, it's been working okay. I don't use it as often because I don't like cleaning them. Uh, but this is one of the makeup brushes. This is the Picket Fence brush. So first off, I wanna show you the difference right here. Can you see that? This one is just, yeah, and the bristles are super smooth. I mean, they're all great, but look at the bristles. You can already tell this has got more of a dome shape and I'll tell you, these are so, so soft. So, so soft. My kids actually, when I when I bought the makeup brushes, I, I lost a couple brushes because my kids ran off with them and they would rub it on their face because it felt so good. But these are definitely way softer than this particular makeup brush that I bought. Now, I don't know... Uh, I don't know about the rest of them. I don't know about other makeup brushes. I just know this cheapie I bought from Shopco uh, is not as soft. This is super, super soft, like just total baby soft. And like I said, the bristles definitely are shaped differently. Now, I don't know if that makes a difference with the blending. These are really good uh, if you are not real good at blending or you don't feel like you're really good at blending or having a hard time, you're getting a lot of harsh lines, these are going to be great for it. I have already, you know, even with the makeup brush, I know that these are going to be great if you're just getting into ink blending and you want to do a real soft, subtle background. So uh, for one, that that's one of the points with the brushes. I'm more of a bold background type of person. That's probably why I don't even reach for the makeup brush too often. But I do try and change it up and I do want more soft backgrounds. Just, I like a variety, I like to play. So uh, just wanted to show you that right off the bat that the they are shaped differently, they feel differently. That is my first take on them. I'll let you, more, let you know more when I start playing with them. So you can decide if you wanna invest. Like I said, I, I know the big pack is an investment, but they do have the smaller packs to try. So 
total bonus there if you wanted to give these a shot. There's the smaller packs available. So just wanted to give you a peek at that. Like I said, this is the makeup brush. This is the picket fence, life-changing brush. So huge, huge thank you to Picket Fence for this amazing wow package I got. And I'm really excited to work with all of these. I'm excited to try the brushes. I'm very grateful that they contacted me and I, I love playing with new products, things that I haven't played with before. So I'm really excited. This gives me a chance to really dive in to their products and, and see how everything stamps and, and works. And I know they're awesome images, so I'm sure it's all going to be amazing. So you'll definitely see more of these from me on my channel. And just get a big shot here of all these things. And I'll have it all linked down below so you can check it out if there's something that caught your eye immediately. Uh, you can go ahead and pick it up there. So I want to just thank you all for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed this little haul video. And if you want to see more haul videos from me, just leave a comment down below. I love to hear, you know, what you think. If you like seeing them, if you want more information, you know, just let me know. And what did you think of the picket fence items? Would love to know. I'm excited to play. So thanks again. Thank you, Picket Fence Studios. And I'll see you in the next video.